Hello. Hello, hello, my dear students. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very well. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to have you here. And for sure. It's a pleasure to be here with you once again in another class. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. So, welcome, Mr. Jose Luis, Raul, Andrea, and Magdiel. It is great to have you here. How is everything? How was your day? Was it difficult to come back from your work? A long day. <laughs> I imagine, right? I imagine that it was a long day. Yes. It is like as soon as you arrive to your job, it's like, can we go now? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, mostly when you arrive early. It happens a lot when you arrive early to your job and you say like, oh, it's, it's time to go. <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> What time do you arrive to your office? Do you normally arrive early, like at before seven? Could you repeat? Uh, what time? Okay. What time? What time do you normally arrive to your office? Do you ah. normally arrive before seven? Uh, in my case, uh, from Monday to Thursday. I started to 8.30. Okay. But the, the Friday, we do something called uh, Viernes Reducido. Oh, really? So, yeah. So we started uh, at 40, two, 40. to 7. Hey, that's so nice. From so, 7 uh, to uh -huh. 2 p.m. From 7 to 2. How cool. And then I sleep. <laughs> hey, that's so nice. No, and it is good because, I mean, you have the chance to actually go back to your house early without the traffic. Even when you start, uh, when you start before, I mean, when you start early, it is like beneficial because you can go back home early. Mm, Sometimes. Uh, in my case, uh before I I like the the viernes reducido, but, uh -huh. but, but sometimes I don't like it <laughs> because I finish uh, very tired. I imagine that that is another part, right? That it's like yeah, you enter to work very early, so you need to finish early, and it's complicated, and it's like uh, a lot of things. So. It has its its pros and cons, right? Pros and cons yeah. for, for the short Friday. But indeed, you have a you have a lot of benefits over everybody else because you will omit the traffic. Yes. That is a good point. That is a that is the best point of everything. I think I, I need to implement something like that at the office. That is so good. <laughs> That is so nice. I, I that's a very good idea. Okay, taking taking ideas for my for my work. <laughs> well, my dear students, it is such a great pleasure to be with you once again in another class, and for sure to have the opportunity to practice and develop uh, more knowledge for all of you. Tell me, did you have the opportunity to um, to investigate a little bit about the adverse of frequency? Be honest. <laughs> Not the <yet. laughs> 
¿qué es tarea? ¿Qué? ¿Qué, teacher? ¿Qué? Y se me perdió la conexión ayer en la noche cuando dijo eso. No, teacher. I forgot. Absolutely. I'm okay. Sorry. That's good. That's good that you are honest, right? That you are honest and, and, and it is like good because I know that, that you didn't do it so I can go in deep for the, for the information, right? So who else or all of you forgot it? Be honest. <laughs> no teacher i didn't investigate i okay i was i have the idea in my mind okay because i know <laughs> but the thing is that in my work is very difficult because if i have time to answer on uh, whatsapp i can only do that no anymore because i cannot <laughs> stay for a long time in that that wasn't going to be sorry teacher <laughs> it's okay it's okay so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And the same thing happens to me, right? The same thing happens to me that when I say like, yeah, I am going to do this, I am going to do that. It is very complicated, right? It is very complicated to actually do many more because it is like, yes, we need, we have many other things to do. Well, but we are going to, we're going to go in deep uh, in the topic. So don't worry about it. And we're going to do it later on okay so the adverse of frequency you are going to see them it's um it's a very short topic it's pretty simple but uh, in many of the cases we tend to confuse it we tend to use it differently and uh, that's why it is very important to to actually review a little bit of it okay but we're going to start today i am going to share my screen with all of you and we're going to start the day. Today is our class number eight. We're going to study adverse of frequency. And let's see, let me share this here. And for sure, we're going to do some practice. We're going to do some reading practice as well about uh, other topics. So that is going to happen today. And here I am going to share a little bit of this one. Let me see. Okay, let me just move a couple of things here. Okay. Good. Highlights about your day, people. Tell me one thing that you like it. One thing that you like about your day. Highlights, highlights about your day. Um, something that I liked in my day uh, was that we ate uh, we ate cake from a weird day of a co-worker. <laughs> hey, we ate cake. Cakes are good at the office, right? It is always good. Yeah. So Aleida had cake today. That was something good. Good evening. I will be listening. I am sick. Yeah, something like that. They say I there, but okay. Something good, Jose Luis, something good about your day? Hi, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't my know. My name is my, my chief, my schedule for today. That you finish everything. That was like, time. that was your happy time. That's good. <laughs> yes. Raul, what was the, the good thing about your day? Mm, maybe. I I wait every every Thursday because I I ate uh, chicken soup <laughs> so, <laughs> today was this day so I like it <laughs> okay today is your chicken soup day that's so yes. nice right <laughs> that's so nice right you, this is your chicken soup day Magdiel hi teacher something good about your day. Um, I had a bad day. Oh, really? Because I, yes, because I'm I'm sick. Ah, my God, chocolate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, really oh my God, I hope you feel better. You know, yeah, COVID, you. COVID is right there again. So, if you feel bad, get a COVID test. You think I think it will be good. 
si se siente mal, ah, hace una prueba COVID. Because mm -hmm. everybody has COVID right now. So it's, it's pretty horrible. I don't have COVID, but yeah, many people that I know has COVID. So it's like, no. So we are very sorry about you. Okay, get no some problem. palagrip, get some palagrip. Palagrip, yes. no me paga nada por este comercial. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Carlos Definitely. Eduardo, yeah, that's good, that's good. Carlos Eduardo, something good about your day? Maybe uh, my, my lunch. And today I ate my favorite food, it's a chicken with onion. Hey, chicken with onion. Chicken soup, chicken with onion, right? So you see, you are the chicken team. That's good. Excellent, Carlos Eduardo. You ate chicken high with five. onion. Yeah, <laughs> high five for the chicken team. Rafael Alexander, something good about your day? Well, um, the lunch. Uh -huh. It's very delicious. <laughs> what did you eat for lunch? Uh, uh, roast, roast beef. Oh, uh -huh. roast beef. That's very delicious. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. Roast beef. Good. Now we have the beef team and the chicken team. That's nice. Thank you, Rafael. Nelson Alberto, something good about your day? Hi, good evening. Hello. Well, um, nothing good happening today. I come on. Yes, I'm sick. Hi, another one. Yes. Check yeah. another one. My body hurts and I am sleepy. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, another COVID test aquí. Otra prueba COVID, no. por favor. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, el team. Yeah, so, now, now we have the, the beef team, the chicken team, and the COVID team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's so, a great idea. No, come on. I am very sorry <laughs> for that. So, Sudagrip, Palagrip, right? Uh, okay. IRS, or I don't know, Sorritone in the end. <laughs> but something <laughs> that is going to help you, okay? I'm very sorry Thank for you. you that you are sick as well. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you. Rafael Antonio, something good about your day? Don't tell me that you are sick as well. Um, I am not sick. Okay, that's good. But um, in my lunch, um, soup the bean. <gasps> Beans I... soup. Wow, that's another good thing. <laughs> um, con cream y cheese. With cream and cheese. With cream and cheese, two, two, two tortillas. Very Salvadorian, very complete, right? Very yeah. nice. Did you put avocado on it? Le puso aguacate, dígame que sí. Yes, yeah, uh, aguacate y cebolla picada. Oh my God, avocado and onion. That's very good. Mm -hmm. So you see? <laughs> Excellent. So Aleida told us that she ate cake. What about Eric Jose? Something good about your day? Sorry, teacher. Creo que va a estar de oyente. Tengo un dolor de cabeza. Oh, my goodness. Another, you are on the COVID team. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the sick team. Group. Welcome. Oh, my God. The Palagrip <laughs> team. Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Thank you, Eric. Oh, my goodness. Ellen Nielsen. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Uh, you know, I, I I was asleep all day, so that was the best part <laughs> of my day. Yeah, to be sleeping the whole day. So that's very good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's very nice. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen. Paola, You're welcome. something good about your day? Paolita. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, Something this good morning, your teacher. I remember you. Really? Because I I wake up late. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, uh, but you were I, not late for the office, yes. Yes, that oh my god. But I arrived. Um, 
early to uh -huh. my work. Well, thank God, right? <laughs> That is a surprise. <laughs> that was, a, yeah, it is curious that in some cases when we are late, we arrive early. It is yes. like maybe because of the frustration of being late. Okay, so that sorry. It's good the, this day. It was good that you arrived on time. Yes. Thank you. Hernan Antonio, something good about your day? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, Something good that Sorry happened to you? Sorry, mi día. Yes, something good. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I, um, uh, it was a normal day. Uh -huh. yeah, um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Arrive, uh, recién llegando aquí a casa. Uh -huh. no sé. Just when I just arrive home, you say. When Correcto. I when I just arrive home. Y me estoy poniendo al día ahorita porque me acabo de conectar. Oh my God! Okay, welcome, sí. welcome. Sí. That was the good sí. thing about it. Andrea, sí. Sofia, something good about your day? Is my day normally? Uh, I finish uh, the taxes, the company. Hey, that's um, nice. And in my lunch, I sleep. Uh, <laughs> I slept, you say. I slept. I slept. I slept and short the time. Hey, okay. That's very nice, right? So it's like I slept for lunch and it was good, right? That is very nice. When you have this little nap at lunch, that's pretty awesome. Let me see, Carlita Flores. Sorry, teacher. I eat in, in this moment. <laughs> that's the Sorry. best part of your day. Don't worry. That's the yeah. best part of it. Thank you. Eat, enjoy. Hey, Blanquita. Today I worked in the morning mm -hmm. and I work just a middle time and I have free time in the afternoon. Hey, that was so nice. So you see, that was a very good part of your day that you could actually work and finish a little bit early in your journey today. Okay, but that was good. It was good, Blanquita. And yeah, because I have free time in the, in the afternoon. That was the best part, right? That you had free time in the afternoon. And Juan Francisco, I don't know if you can share something in the chat about your day, something good that happened, right? Because he says that he feels sick. He is in the COVID team, right? He's in the sick team. So poor of all the ones that are sick, I am very sorry. I have been there during this week. And it is pretty horrible, right, to be sick. But you are going to be better soon. Don't worry. Yo he estado ahí todos estos días de la semana. So you are going to feel better soon. Ya se van a sentir mejor. Don't worry. Yeah. So uh, I am going to call the attendance. And we can start with our topic of the day. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, OK? Yes, let me see. Let me just open my Excel document and we will work. Here I go. My internet is kind of slow today. I don't know what's going on with it. It's kind of... Uh, okay. The internet doesn't feel good too. <laughs> yeah, I think he has the flu as well. I think Maybe. he... I think he has the flu as well because he's, he's very slow. Everything is very slow. I don't know why. Or maybe it's because it's Thursday. He's tired. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is, right? Because it's Thursday. The internet needs vacation. <laughs> it needs vacations, right? It's like, ah, oh, no, teacher, you do so much with me and you don't give me any vacation, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. my poor internet, I think he, it suffers a lot. It is like, ah, no, esta señora solo me ocupa. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be my internet. It would be like, solo clase, 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 clase. <laughs> and it would be like, not anymore, you say. 
I need some funny. Some yeah. day off. <laughs> some day off, some Netflix movies, something to have fun, but no, only Excel, only PowerPoint. You say. <laughs> My internet, right? Sim internet hablar. Yeah, it, it is like, I, I don't know if you have seen this meme that is very famous nowadays. Que dice, si no nos depositas tanto, vamos a publicar todas tus cosas. <laughs> Mis cosas. Un montón de archivos de clase. <laughs> Todo lo confidencial. Todo lo confidencial. They would be like, what a boring thing. Este alumno me cae mal. Ay, no, no. Come on. Todos los ceros. Hey, yeah. yeah. Debe bajar un punto. One point left. All day, all day. Así que no me estaba en rojo. <laughs> A ustedes, a nadie, como van a creer. Nada de eso. Ok, now it's open. Ok, Aleida Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Andrea Sofía. Present, teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present, teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Here, teacher. César Romero. Not here yet. Ellen Nilsson. Present, teacher. Eric José. Present, teacher. Hernán Antonio. Presente, teacher. Horacio. José Luis. Present. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Paola Elena. Present, teacher. I am here. <laughs> Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Present trap teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I am here. Wilber Alberto. Eh, Jasmine Elizabeth. En Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. It's like, present teacher. I am here, teacher. My God, my God. Tengan una botellita de agua y cerca, hombre. Nelson, una limonada caliente les cae bien a ustedes. Ya, todos me dicen, uy, no, ¿qué es eso de la limonada caliente? It's, muy, it's very good. Con it's... limón ayuda mucho, ese, ese, con miel, perdón, también ayuda. Ajá, la, sí, la limonada bien. con limón. Yo. Sí, sí, la sí, <ríe> la parte, ya ve cómo ando, ¿verdad? <ríe> <Y> yo, ok. <ríe> That was good. That was good. But you see, you laugh. You laugh. That, that's good, right? It helps a lot. Okay, my dear class. Juan Francisco says present teacher in the chat. Excellent. Well, my dear students, as I told you, yesterday we were practicing a couple of discussion questions for uh, the adverse of frequency. I am going to show you the questions. We are not going to answer them right now because first I am going to give you a little bit of the topic, right? But these are some of the questions that you can use with the different adverbs of frequency, right? Here, for example, in this one, we have, what do you seldom do when you are in, in English class? What do you usually eat for breakfast? Are you always tired in the morning? What do you often do on the weekends? What kind of food do you rarely eat? What time do you usually get up in the morning? What do you hardly ever watch on TV? Do you always text your friends? What do you sometimes dream about? And we are going to finish with the sentence, I almost always, because, okay? This is something that we are going to answer later, right? We are going to answer this later on because I need you please to go over the topic first and then we are going to answer okay we're going to answer these questions i have here a little conversation for us to practice right we are going to start with this practice and i don't know why okay there you go and we are going to start this one and we are going to start with the topic i am going to read it for everybody and then we are going to practice a little bit on it And it says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really, what do you have? 
we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. Hmm, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to, I like to try new things. Would you like to have fish for breakfast, people? Would you like to have fish for breakfast? No, never I did. Yeah. Imagine they have fish, rice, and soup. That is the normal breakfast for them. What type of what type of bref, breakfast is this one? It's, it's a, a Japanese. A Japanese. Jap style. A Japanese breakfast. style, right? A Japanese mm -hmm. style breakfast. And is the lady going to go and accept the invitation? Yes, yes or no? she accept she accept the invitation uh, because she uh, like to try new things. She would like to try new things, right? She would like to try new things. Okay, uh, the conversation goes like this. It says, Let ha let's have breakfast together on Sunday. You say, okay come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Here you can find the first adverb of frequency. So you say, my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. This means that every Sunday, the same thing happens, okay? It is not that it happens only one Sunday or the other Sunday, no, it's like every Sunday because it says, always my family always has a japanese style breakfast on sundays and it says really what do you have and it says we usually have fish rice and soup right usualmente tenemos eh, pescado arroz y sopa we usually have fish rice and soup so when you say usually it means that it can vary right eso puede variar because you say we usually have fish rice and soup. If you say we always have fish, rice and soup, es que no cambia nada. But if you say we usually have fish, rice and soup, so it can give you the option to vary. The next one says fish for breakfast. Hmm, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. En este caso, todos los domingos tienen ensalada? Yes or no? No, so only sometimes. Only sometimes, right? So it is like a couple of Sundays, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, right? But sometimes we have a salad too. So it means that they can have fish, rice, soup, and a salad, So, but it varies. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. So it means that the green tea is part of this. So we always have green tea. They can have the same thing, but green tea will be part of it all the time. And it says, well, I never eat fish for breakfast. It means that she has never done it, right? Yo nunca como esto para el desayuno. Never is nunca. But I like to try new things. So here it goes. Uh, I will start and then you continue with me, okay? I'm going to be Sarah and all of you are going to be Kumiko. Kumiko, it's a Japanese name. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese who a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Thank you, Aleida, taking it for the team. Hey team, come on. <laughs> sé que el team está caído. Medio team está en el suelo because of the flu. But let's try to do it, okay? So I go, mamá, let's have breakfast on Sunday. Tommy pickles. Okay. Yeah, sé que medio team está caído ahorita, pero let's try to do our best, okay? No lo voy a tener hablando mucho, don't worry. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, okay. come okay. to my come house. house. Family, house. family house. always has a Japanese style, style. Fast style. Fast on Sunday. Sunday. Really? On Sunday. What do you have? We usually, we usually have, have, have fish, 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 fish and soup. soup. Fish for soup. breakfast, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, have a salad, salad too. too. And, and we, uh, always we always have green tea. tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. It is normal that we have a, a Japanese style breakfast, but 
What about a Salvadorian style breakfast? How would you make it? Three pupusas. Eggs, beans. Eggs. Uh -huh. Eggs. Let, Eggs. Let's see. Right. Ellen Nielsen. No. Ellen Nielsen. Let's try it out. Lo vamos a tratar okay. con Ellen Nielsen. Okay. Uh, you start. Uh, no, no, no. I will start. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. No, a Salvadorian Bre style. Okay. Oh, okay. My okay. Family? Again, again. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Salvadorian style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Well, we, we usually have uh, beans, eggs, mm -hmm. Cheese and tortilla. Uh, tortillas for breakfast. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. interesting. <laughs> Open mind, teacher. It's delicious, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh, sometimes. What else uh -huh. do you have? Add, add something else. Sometimes we have. Okay. Sometimes we have a. Uh, I don't know. That. <laughs> um. What else? Pupusas. Um, okay, pupusas. Pupusas Sometimes too. we have pupusas too. And we always and have? We always have a coffee. Well, I never eat tortillas for breakfast, <laughs> but I like to try new things. That was good. Very good. Okay. And then it's a very nice. Let's see. I am going to do it with another volunteer. I need one volunteer to do it. And I will give you the type of breakfast. Uh huh. Only one people, only one. Me teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you for el but, de los but I need to to change, right? Yes, you need to change. Okay. Tell me about a country that you have visited. Algún país que he visitado que no sea El Salvador. Hmm. Guatemala. Okay, no. Guatemala. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Okay. Now you're going to have a Costa Rican style breakfast. Okay. Invent, invent, whatever. There. Okay, okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come my, come to my house. My family always has a Costa Rica style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Uh, we usually have uh, tortillas, but uh, made with with bananas and. Uh, <laughs> and, and eggs and, and beans uh, tortillas made of banana that's interesting yeah, it's, 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 combination. yeah it's, it's a combination but I, I don't know how, how do you say the masa the dough dough what dough Doughs. dough como play dough Play-Doh. Have you seen the Play-Doh? The la plastilina? Play-Doh? The dough. Uh -huh, the and, dough. Uh -huh. And make like a tortilla, but with banana or, or guineo. Okay. Uh, I, I don't remember the name. <laughs> That's so nice. Well, it is with plantain, I guess. Es con plátano. I think it is yes. with plantain, but yeah. Okay. Sometimes we have what? Uh, sometimes we have a uh, uh, juice too. Can I say juice or, you can or a say food? You, it could be a food because later on you have to say the drink. Okay. Uh, sometimes we have, uh, let me see, rice uh -huh. or chicken. <laughs> Okay, and we always rice. have only only rice too. Uh -huh. And we always have <laughs> and we always have uh, the drink horchata. Horchata. Okay, well, I never drink horchata for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Thank you very much, <laughs> Raul. Yeah, you did a good job. Very nice. You did a very good job. And I need my final volunteer. If it is a person who has visited a different country, that would be fantastic. Alguien que haya visitado otro país para conocer otra cultura diferente. 
Okay, so I will I will give you one about uh, Arkansas. So I need a volunteer to do the conversation with me. Rafael Alexander, help me. You are going to start. Okay, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has an American style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have pancakes, uh, potatoes, meat, fruit, and cheese. Ah, we use uh, potatoes for breakfast. That's interesting. Yeah, sometimes they have sausages and chorizo too. And they always have a, a lot of coffee. Well, I never eat uh, potatoes for breakfast. But I like to try new things. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was so nice. Yes, people there. I well during all the scholarship that I had this past month, I was having the same, right? In el hotel siempre había papas, carne, chorizo, queso, waffles. In the morning, it was every day. And I was like, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, and Teacher, but that is the typical American uh, that is, breakfast that because is the, I always. You don't ask me, but I suffer a lot with this class because I have a diet, uh, diet <laughs> right now. Oh my god! And we have been we have been talking a lot about food. And when you Sorry. talk about uh, food, uh, I imagine <laughs> you crave open. You crave about, oh my God, you crave about food, right? You crave is like, oh, I want to eat it, right? I'm very sorry, right. Rafael, Alexander, okay. Vamos a hablar de matemáticas then. <laughs> I am very sorry for, for that. Yeah, that is the typical American breakfast. There you go. I remember one day when I was in the university, they say, hey, hay frijoles en el dining. And I was like, say! And I went to the dining to see if to 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 have beans for lunch, right? But the beans were sweet and big and horrible. They were sweet, like if you put sugar on the beans, como que le pusiera azúcar a los frijoles. And I was like, <laughs> where are my beans? I said, that was I, all. I, I guess in one country, the, the, the dishes is with uh, sugar. Yeah, in many of the countries. But, it, it, well, there in, in Arkansas, they put a lot of barbecue sauce to everything. I mean, todo a la barbacoa, el cerdo, el pollo, la carne, everything. I love it, the ribs. Yeah, the, they were <laughs> they were good indeed. So that was the only good thing. But so, yes. Fish for breakfast, maybe not, right? So we're going to move on a little bit here. The adverbs of frequency are pretty useful and pretty simple. And you talk about different activities that you have on your everyday. These are adverbs of indefinite frequency, right? Because you don't have a specific time on them. That's why they are called indefinite frequency adverbs. Because you say always, uh -huh, eso es como siempre. But you don't say, y siempre que siempre, right? Siempre, siempre. You say it's like always, right? Always every day, always every month, always every three days. So, but it's always. Usually will be in the level of acquaintance will be like in a 75%. Usually, usualmente, right? Often, it will be like a 60%. Sometimes is a veces, right? That's a 50% on, on the level. For example, here, as you can see here, I have like from 100 to zero. So sometimes we'll be like in the middle. Sometimes we'll be like 50% of the times. Hardly ever is like mm, very strange, like in a 30%, right? And never that it's a 0%. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that can be at the beginning of the sentence. You cannot say always I go to the beach, okay? Or hardly ever she goes. No, 
only sometimes is the only adverb frequency that can be before the subject, right? It's the only one that you can put here before the subject. You can say sometimes I or I sometimes. That is the only one that you can place there. But all the other ones you have the subject, the adverb frequency, the verb, and the complement, right? And in this case, for example, if you say, do you ever, do you ever is the question to ask for the frequency. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? ¿Alguna vez comes, comes eh, pescado para el, para el desayuno? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do, right? So that is the form of answer. Do you ever, if I say, for example, do you ever go to the beach, people? No. Sometimes. Another question that it's very common Sometimes. for this one. So you say, how often do you go? How often do you go to the beach? To the beach. Esa pregunta va mucho mejor con los adverbs of frequency. How often do you go to the beach? And you say, I sometimes go to the beach. I never go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach. I always go to the beach on Sundays, right? So tell me, how often do you go to the beach, people? If you might use an adverb of frequency for this answer, how often do you go to the beach? I sometimes go to the beach. I sometimes go to the beach. Uh -huh. I hardly ever go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach. I sometimes go to the beach. Too. I sometimes go to the beach, right? And Ellen Nilsson has it very near there. Y eso que usted la tiene ahí cerquita. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yes. <laughs> Yo sería un pescado, niño, solo ahí pasa. <laughs> yeah, but it, it happens that when you have it close, you never go. Yeah, yeah. It happens, right? Yo tengo una chica administrativa que trabaja ahí donde yo trabajo, que vive justo en el puerto de la libertad. And she never goes to the beach. And I'm like, come on. O sea, yo solo llegara, me quitara los zapatos y me fuera para el play. <laughs> Every day. But maybe if you are there, you won't do it. Tell me, who never goes to the beach? Is there someone who never goes to the beach? Uh, do you ever go to the beach on August vacations? No? No, teacher. I never go to the beach on August vacation. <laughs> Yeah, with everybody, right? Yes. I am work. I am working hours in the vacation. Yeah, do you work? No. I am. I am working. No. Ne ne next week, I go to the volcano, flower row. Hey, um, that's so nice. Sushi Toto. Sushi Toto. Oh my god! My goodness! Yeah, work working, right? La envidia no, entrada al grupo de nuevo. Ya, eh, eh, cuando esté en el trabajo el domingo voy a decir, ah, ahí anda Antonio en la ruta de las flores. Pues. Ah, qué bonito. Uh, the, the, the next Sunday I go to the attack of... Um, ah, imagine. No, the, yeah. no, the, uh, coffee, coffee plant to the, the coffee plantations in Ataco. La Majada, La Majada. Yes, that's a very good place to visit. What a nice thing. Yeah, when I am, when I, when I enter to work on Sunday, I will remember you. I will say, I ando y éramos en La Majada todo. <laughs> but no. Okay. You're visiting La Majada. Yes, we need to visit. It's beautiful. I have visited before. I have visited before. I, I, well, when I, when I had like more social life, I used to travel more, right? But now I don't. I work more than I go out. I remember that I had a training next to there and it was very nice. So we need to go. Yeah, Rafael Antonio nos tiene que llevar a todos en un tour. 
<laughs> en un VIP. <laughs> Yay. Yay, we are going to go in a VIP with Rafael Antonio. Okay, very good. So tell me, people, how often do you cook your breakfast? How often do you cook your breakfast? I always cook my breakfast. I usually cook my breakfast. I sometimes cook my breakfast. Okay. How often do you buy food for lunch? I always. <laughs> I always, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, chi the chicken soup team, right? Huh? Chicken soup, yeah. I usually buy my, my lunch. I Let's, cook the lunch. How often? How often do you eat fast food or junk food? Comida rápida. How mm. often do you eat fast food? I hardly ever. I hardly eat. ever, says Cesar. I hardly ever. Sometimes I eat uh, fat food. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> teacher, yeah, sometimes. Before the diet, Rafael? I before the, the diet, I usually buy a fast food. But now, prohibited. But now, never. <laughs> now, never, right? I never, I never buy a fast food. Yeah, al colesterol le gusta esto. Ese. That's pretty nice. Well, yes, that is good. That, no, sorry, that is for, nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the diet, but it's good. It's good for your body, right? Yes. Let's see. How often do you clean your house? I always clean my house. I always clean my house. Okay. What about I the always, rest? I always clean my house too. I sometimes you say, okay, good. Tell me something that you never do on Sundays. Something that you never do on Sundays. I never woke up. No, I, I never wake up mm -hmm. uh, early on Sundays. You never wake up early on Sundays, right? I can repeat uh, the question. Tell me something that you never do on Sundays. So you say, I never what? I never work. I never... Uh, wash the clothes, I never cook, I never, I don't know, something that you never do, algo que nunca hacen los domingos. I never go to work. I never, I go, never to, go to work. Go to the beach. I never go I to never. beach, I never go to work. Yeah, that's so sad, right? Okay, just give me one second. Ok, sorry. Regañando a los hombres de mi vida. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> It's like, yeah, creo que alguien, alguien cerca de mí está ocupando Netflix. Because my connection is horrible and it's like, hmm. No, mom, no, he says. Uh -huh. I know him. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's like, oh, mi mamá. They say, okay, so tell me something that you always do in the morning. Something that you always do in the morning. I always I take a, a shower or bath. Okay, I always take a shower, right? That's good. Yeah. Thank you that you, you tell me that one. I always take a shower. What else do you always do in the morning? I always drink water. I always drink water. Very good. What else do you always do in the morning? I, I always, always make a coffee my... in the morning. <laughs> I always make a coffee. What else? I always, I always feed my, my cat. 
brush I always feed my cat I always brush my teeth right yeah because cats are very demanding in the morning they are like meh, 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 until you feed them so that's something that you always do in the morning uh, I always uh, drink coffee drink coffee very good I always drink coffee good excellent do you exercise in the morning? Never. Never. O el ejercicio es alcanzar el bus. Yeah, that is the worst part. The worst part is when you stop the bus and he looks at you and he's like, and he doesn't stop. That's so horrible. He's like, te vi, te ignoro. <laughs> and you are like, that's so sad so that's that's the exercise of the morning good so that is the use of the adverse of frequency people it is not really complicated and it is something pretty pretty useful the only thing that you need to remember is the position of the adverb of frequency right after the subject and before the verb okay Okay, so that is the position, right? After the subject and before the verb. Sometimes is the only one that you can put in uh, before the subject. So I am just going to open my board here because I am going to explain you the other ones that are the adverse of definite frequency. The adverse of definite frequency. What are those? The adverse of definite frequency are the ones that express an specific moment or a specific moment on time. So you say, for example, every day, every day, you say every night, every Sunday, right? And these ones are most commonly place at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of it here you can say for example twice a day right it is another advert of definite frequency and you can say i go to church every sunday i go to church every sunday or you can say Every Sunday, I go to church, okay? So that is the difference. The adverse of definite frequency can be at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. The adverse of indefinite frequency only after the subject, okay? So this is basically it, right? Every day, every night, every Sunday, twice a day, once every week. Once is una vez a. Ah, twice is dos veces a. Ah. You can say twice a day, twice a year. Okay, let me just make it clear here. Oh my God, twice a year. Like dos veces en el año, right? Twice a year. You can say, I go to the beach twice a year or twice a year, I go to the beach. You can say as well, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays, on Fridays, right? That is a specific frequency, okay? Porque sabemos cuando sucede. Every morning, every afternoon can be in the morning, in the afternoon, in the morning, every afternoon. Okay, those are examples of adverbs of definite frequency, okay? Do you get the difference between them? ¿Nos queda clara la diferencia entre ambos? Yes. Yes, teacher, no teacher. Yes, like horchata. Yes, Yes, like horchata or yes, like very clear. Crystal. Crystal clear. It is something very simple, right? So... But I, I just wanted to make sure that you also know it. Okay, so here I have some sentences that I need you to work on. And what we are going to do is to rewrite the sentences using the adverb of frequency that is in parentheses. 
So this is something that you're going to do on your notebook, okay? On the second exercise, we are going to organize the phrases in two sentences. I have the first example here. I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. And the next one, work, I snacks, eat at hardly ever. You have to organize it. Eat for pasta dinner sometimes I, or have I dinner with often family my. You need to organize the sentences to make them logical. Okay, let's do the first ones that are in parentheses. And then the other ones, you need to organize them, okay? I will give you a couple of minutes to do this, around five to seven minutes. Remember, when you finish, raise your hand so I know that you have completed the exercise. Go ahead. on the platform, okay?
Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Aleida. Thank you, Rafael Nelson. Very good. Okay, now more than four finished already. Rafael, can you help me with number uh, two? Well, in that case, it's letter B. The first one is, what do you usually have for breakfast? What about the next one? I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Okay, ah, well, that's number two. Okay, let's start with that exercise. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Good, very good. Después hacemos el ejercicio de arriba. It's okay. Number three, uh, Aleida. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Aleida, number three for exercise number two. Um, sometimes. No, that is the second one, correct? Yeah, the second one, yes. Number three. Oh, okay. I often have dinner with my family. I often have dinner with my family. That was number four, but it's okay. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Ahorita estamos así como born to be wife. <laughs> no, the number four is sometimes I have pasta. Sometimes I, I eat pasta for... Dinner. Sorry. Okay, number three, you say. Number three or the third. The third. Sorry. Number third, you say. Sorry, number three. Okay, number three. Yeah, you see, we andamos rebeldes todo. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Okay, Nelson, help me with number, well, with letter B of exercise one. Uy, uy, el cuaderno, el cuaderno. Oh, the microphone. Ah, okay. I often have uh, coffee. Quiero ver. Sí, esa, vea. Well, I often. Ah, sí, okay. Uh, ya me había, es que estaba viendo. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, se ponía rebelde también. No, well, <laughs> I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Very good job. I often, well, I often have well, coffee, right. cereal, and juice. Jose Luis, the next one. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Very good. Uh, let me see who's next. Raul Ernesto, what about the next one? Uh, I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Very good. Carlos Eduardo, the next one. Okay. Uh, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Very good. And let me see, Ellen Nilsson, the last one. Okay. Uh, no, I hardly ever have rice. No, I hardly ever have rice. Very good. Excellent job, people. Excellent job. You have the adverbs of frequency after the subject or before in the case of sometimes. Here, do you ever? I sometimes, right? Do you usually? And I hardly ever. And I always say, uh, do you ever eat breakfast at work, people? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Yes or no? Yes, I always have breakfast. At work, right? At work, yes. Yes, I always have breakfast at work. And what do you usually have? What do you usually have? I usually have uh -huh. cereal. Okay, I usually, I usually have cereal. You usually, you usually have cereal. And Magdiel, what do you I usually, usually have? I have um, beans with cheese and eggs, with bread. In bread, and in, in banana, in coffee, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. cream. <laughs> yeah, it's complete breakfast. It's a complete breakfast, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, big boys need a big breakfast, right? And in this one, for sure, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Tell me, people, do you eat the snacks at work? I won't ask Rafael because he's on a diet. Yes. What do you usually have? I usually eat uh, rice cookies. Rice cookies, good, very good. Yeah, I always say that they look like dura packs. They are like, siempre les digo a mis compañeros, esto parece dura packs, pero son buenas. Yeah. It looks but like that. If, 
If you put, uh, let me see the name. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter and, and, and jelly. Jelly, yes, but I don't Bacon. remember if I eat <laughs> like that. But if you put a uh, peanut and put in the micro in the microwave 10 seconds, is a delicious. <laughs> and Rafael hating us right now. <laughs> Rafael odiando nos a todos aquí. <laughs> well, that's good. I didn't know. I didn't know the tip about putting them in the microwave. Now I know. See? Taking ideas. Very good. And Nelson, and, you put... And, uh -huh. and, and I can consider the sweet bread like a snack. Yes, yes, for sure. You can yeah. be, you can consider it as, as a snack. That's the Salvadorian a, snack. Uh -huh. Yes. I usually, I usually eat antojitos. <laughs> yeah, like like the empanadas, the empanadas, yuca, yeah, the, yuca. Yeah, the, the the little pastries with meat. Pupusas. Right? <laughs> Pupusas. <laughs> a las tres de la tarde. Right? Yeah. A little snack. <laughs> a little snack, right? Yeah. Uh, there is there is like this little food place near my job that they have the WhatsApp thing, the menu on the WhatsApp, and they say, eh, licenciada, hay antojito, licenciada, hay no sé qué, and I say like, no, 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 Alex, <laughs> porque todo, todo, ahí, que, que yuca, que empanadas, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto, y no, si, si uno cae en la tentación, niña, ay Dios. But the rice cookies are you good. You spent all the salary there. <laughs> all this, yeah. Imagine if you consider it yeah. like one or two dollars every day. So yeah. at the end of the month, it's a lot of money, right? And just in the antojitos, that's pretty expensive. But they are good. Yeah. The only the only one that I fall for is the atol de lote. I love it. Yeah. Cuando llegue el mensaje de hay atol de lote, it's like ah. Tortita de lote, teacher. Ah, yeah, they are very good. Yeah. Poor, no, Rafael is going to hate us right now. Yeah. Poor, poor, poor. No, 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 no. Okay, Rafael Alexander, sorry. Hasta se nos fue, hasta apagó la cámara de enojado. <laughs> poor Rafael. Oh, my God. Okay, I have I here. Hope, uh -huh. I hope uh, the diet was, uh, I hope the diet Que no sea para siempre. <laughs> won't be forever, right? Uh -huh, we'll... Yeah, because at least not for the rest of November, right? Poor, poor you. Mm -hmm. And December. And this, oh my but God. Rafael, can I have another uh, kind of uh, snacks? Like, uh, I think, uh, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Like, some guayabas with, with uh, hot sauce and, and all white and salt. I think it, it's... Uh, a good snack. It is a yeah. good snack. A healthy indeed. snack. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but just a little. <laughs> yeah, because it, it is another thing. Like you cannot put sugar. You cannot eat watermelon. It's too sweet. Then this and that. It's like oh no. Okay, poor poor Rafael. Right. We promise that we are not going to talk that much about a uh, food anymore. Uh, that's okay. No problem. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Okay. So here I just have a couple of questions about often, sometimes, or never. Uh, tell me, how often do you eat pasta? Uh, no, I say, do you ever eat pasta? You say, I often eat it, I sometimes eat it, or I never eat it. I pasta. Eat pasta. Can I eat every day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, but it's not I okay. I never eat it. Eat pasta you never eat pasta you don't like it no no I like but i don't want <laughs> i don't want it it's like yeah no después del covid y los macarrones no yeah macarrones con todo macarrones con macarron i remember my god it was like a very common thing to have pasta for the days of covid todo lo que no se arruine Tuna. Yeah, atun. yeah, but I like I like tuna, so it's like yeah, it's good. What about hamburgers? Often, sometimes, or never? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's hamburger. Sometimes. What about Hardly fish? Ever. Hardly ever the hamburger. What about fish? Sometimes. 
sometimes. Uh, I hardly okay. ever eat fish. Okay, eggs? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's not always for everybody. No, I usually eat eggs. Usually, yes. yes. And what about broccoli? Mm. I sometimes eat it. <laughs> the broccoli was never. 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 <laughs> yeah. I think I almost <laughs> never eat broccoli. It's like, no. I don't know. I don't really like it. It is like, no. Yeah, I always remember my, my son's answer when I gave him broccoli. The day that I gave broccoli to my son, he said, Mama. Esto es un árbol. Yo no como árboles. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and he never, he never ate broccoli. And up to now, he's five years old and he has never eaten broccoli. He doesn't like it. He told me, this is a tree and I don't eat trees. So it's a good for the diet. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this good. My nephew always say uh, uh, to his mom, mom, I want to eat arbolito. <laughs> no, but my kid doesn't like it. He's like, no, no, he says he doesn't eat Cipres. it. Cipres. <laughs> como que tuviera, como varicela. <laughs> okay. So broccoli, it's a never, sometimes, yeah, often, right? Often. Often for the broccoli. In this one, we're just going to work on it. Uh, we're going to answer it. Uh, all together, we are not going to do it on the notebook, but we are going to work on it together. Let me see. I don't know why this thing is moved. Okay. Hoy todos andan haciendo lo que quieren. Hasta mi PowerPoint. Okay. You see? Okay. My brother is never sad. He is always happy. It says. What about number two? It says, I was late for work only one time last year. What will you use to complete the sentence? I was late for work only one time last year. I am late. What will you use? Always, sometimes, never. I am um, never late. Never. Uh, hardly ever. ever. Okay, I am hardly ever, but it was only one time last year. Yeah. So you say, I am hardly ever, I am hardly ever late. Or I will say I am never late. Mary failed only one test in high school. She passed her test. Always. Usually. Okay. Okay, she almost, almost always, they say. Almost always, casi siempre. Almost um, always pass her test, right? Almost always, because she only failed one. It cannot be usually, right? I always remember to do my homework. I? I never forget never. to do it. Very good. I never forget to do it. Steven seldom um, goes to a cinema. He? Well, is it seldom? Okay, very good question. Seldom is rara vez. Oh. Like hardly ever, teacher. Hardly ever, very good. Exactly like that. It's the same. It's almost the same, right? He hardly ever sees movies, right? Steven seldom goes to the cinema. He hardly ever sees movies. It's like seldom. It's like rara vez in raras ocasiones. Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. She hardly ever gets sick. She hardly ever gets sick. Very good. Mm -hmm. She hardly ever gets sick. I get up at five o'clock seven days a week. I always. I always, right? Always. I always mm -hmm. get up early. Mm -hmm. It's always hot and sunny where I live. That's why C I is snow. I never. Very good. I never see snow. Do you ever drink coffee? Yes, but only. Yes. 
or not often. Do you ever drink coffee? Yes, but all ah, very good, but only sometimes. But only sometimes, not often. Just a few times a week. My sister almost never eats burgers and fries. She eats healthy foods. She always, always eats healthy right? food. Very good. Healthy foods. She always eats healthy food. As you can see, when you use he or she, the verb changes, right? This change keeps here. Okay, el cambio siempre sigue, aun cuando usamos el adverbio de frecuencia, en he and she, siempre el verbo va en la forma de tercera persona. So that's something that you need to remember, right? She always eats, he always runs, he always plays, right? That is something that we always use. So here on the book, I was going to show you here on your book, after all this explanation of the adverbs of frequency, here, on your manual, you have, yesterday we were talking about uh, the restaurant, the kitchen, and uh, who cleans it, who does it and everything. So here I have a short conversation and it says, hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Let me see if I share it, yes. Okay, hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mutt. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do you change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. So here we have a couple of questions with adverbs of frequency. This one, how often do we change the menu? And the next one, do we ever give a promotional item? In this one, for example, in your offices, do you give promotional items? ¿Es común en su oficina que den objetos promocionales? No, teacher. Yes, never. not. It's hardly never. ever. Hardly ever. No. Yes. Thank you for your 10 years on the company. Here you have a bottle. Yeah. It's no, no promotional items at all. Que lapiceros, que gorritas, que cosas así. Only in the induction. Okay. Only for the induction, right? The rest of the year. Nothing. Never. Nothing. Ni una galletita. Okay. Vamos a poner esa queja ahí. So you don't give promotional items. The people in the restaurant doesn't give anything either. So how often do you make big changes in your company? How often do they make big changes in your company? Uh huh. Almost never, never, sometimes. Sometimes change. Sometimes change, but big changes that you need to, to go on training again and everything, no? Uh, training. No, new así job. Que, okay, training just for the new job. Cambios así grandes que los tengan que entrenar de nuevo y todo eso, no. It's hardly no. ever. Hardly ever. Change. They hardly ever change. Okay, good. So in this case, how often do they change the menu of the restaurant, people? How often do they change the menu on the restaurant here in the in the book? They seldom change the menu. They seldom yeah. change the menu, right? But what is something that makes a difference? ¿Qué es lo que hace la diferencia? Ya que no hacen cambios en el menú. They are dessert. They are promoting a dessert every week. Every week. Do you know what is the meaning of dessert? Poste. 
postre, right? Postre. They are promoting a dessert every week. And the next question, hate me for the next question. What is your favorite dessert? I, I love the, the cheesecake. Cheesecake, okay, good. I love carrot pie. Carrot pie, good. Carrot pie, cheesecake. What else? I love flan. I love it. Flan is very good. Do you like chocolate cake? Ice cream? Yes, teacher. Ice cream too. Do you like, a, let me see, cookies? Sweet bread? I prefer sweet bread than cookies. Okay, sweet bread is better than cookies. So they do that, right? They change the menu here. And in this one, who come in a regular basis? This phrase means it's like in an everyday thing, right? In regular basis is en un día normal. That is the meaning of this. Let's see, she's looking for marketing strategies and she wants to know a couple of questions. And when you say, okay, tell me, sir, okay? The one that is uh, looking for the information is Mr. Mott, right? because maybe he is the owner of the restaurant. So in this case, I have here three questions for this one. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? If they don't change the menu, if everything is the same, what kind of restaurant do you think it is? It is a normal food restaurant or a fast food restaurant? Fast food, maybe. Fast, fast food, food, because they don't change the menu, right? Yeah. Porque si usted se fija, y si ha ido a Burger King, por ejemplo, desde el año de la existencia del, no sé, de mi abuelita, quizá. They have the same menu, right? And they haven't changed. World Chabelo. Ya, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cuando nació la Chabelita, ¿verdad? nuestra Chabelita. Ya estaba ese menú del Burger King. Campero chicken, it's the same super campero forever, right? Desde aquel tiempo donde usted esperaba la parte de una silla que separara a la gente, up to now, it's the same thing, the same thing, but that is a fast food restaurant. So maybe it's a fast food restaurant, the one that Jennifer manages. What are some marketing strategies that the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? What is the strategy that she's using? ¿Cuál es la estrategia que está ocupando la Miss Jennifer? They are promoting a, a, a dessert a every week. They are promoting a dessert every week. Okay. And in general, I think you have seen many restaurants nowadays. Do you know any strategy that they use to get more clients? What do they do? What do they normally the do? The commercial for the TV. Commercials on TV, good. What else? What other strategies do they use in order to get clients? Yeah. Public, public scene in the in the the rows in the in the corner of the the building. Okay, billboards. They are called billboards. billboards. Esas son las vallas publicitarias. Billboards billboards on the street, right? Okay, publicity, right? They pay a lot of marketing. Uh, what else do they do? They send offers in your phone, for example. If you show this coupon, you get two hamburgers. If you do this, you get this and this discount, right? Those are some of the strategies that they use. Now, he picks up for, for $10. <laughs> yeah, the two per one. It is a very common strategy. And in the end, you pay the same for the same amount of hamburgers, right? So it's like, llévese dos por diez y normal vale cinco. 
So it is like the Black Friday thing. Be careful, people. Don't fall on Black Friday. Be careful. Yeah, no van a caer en eso. Ese día mejor vamos a estar en clase. Yeah, <laughs> and in fact, we're going to be in classes on the Black Friday. No, don't fall on that. It's like a great sale, they say. And it's the same price. Con un rotulo más grande. So don't fall on that, okay? Don't fall on Black Friday because that is a lie. Don't do it. Teacher. Yeah? For the marketing people, you are going to make, they lose the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, sorry, sorry, but yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, poor, sorry for los que trabajan en marketing. <laughs> I know. Last year, I remember that I checked on a, on a television in a place that I am not going to give you the name, but the price was like $1,100 before. It was like in September. And then later in October, it was $1,200. And then on Black Friday, it was $1,345. And I was like, what? right? It was just going higher and higher and it was offered. And I was like, ¿Por qué no la compré cuando estuvo más barata? Yeah, but it was like, it, it, was, was, more, it was more expensive, more expensive in, than in before. Friday. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh -huh, on Black Friday, it was the, the triple the time. So it was like, maybe not, I said. So be careful with Black Friday. Okay. Adverse of frequency. And in this one, you have a little explanation of the adverse of frequency. Here, you have always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Rarely is exactly as in Spanish, right? Raras veces. And in this one, we have examples here. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. Okay, so in these ones, we are going to complete this part with activities that you do at your workplace. And here, let me just move it a little bit. Here, you can have different things that you always do in your job. Things that you rarely do, things that you hardly ever do, things that you seldom do, sometimes and never. So you have to write six sentences about this activities that you do at your job with these adverbs of frequency okay you can say for example i always open the office i never uh, do the accounting for example i sometimes attend the clients i seldom visit uh, customers for example okay write sentences about your activities at your work Okay, with these six specific adverbs of frequency. Go ahead. Go ahead, my dear students.
Okay, do any of you have an example for always? Me teacher. Go ahead. I always offer help to my coworkers. I always offer her help to my coworkers. Very good job. For seldom, who has an example for seldom? Yeah. I seldom visit the branches. I seldom visit the branches. Good, very good. What about rarely? Who has an example for rarely? I rarely run in the morning. I rarely run in the morning. Okay, but related to the to your job? Sorry. I rarely walk to the job i rarely walk to my to, work to my job okay to my job that's okay what about sometimes sometimes an example with sometimes mr cesar amaya okay carla eduardo go ahead uh, I sometimes install programs in the office. I sometimes install programs in the office. Very good. Hardly ever. Examples with hardly ever. I hardly ever go late in my job. I hardly ever uh, get late to my uh, job. Get, you get late. Get late to okay. my job. Right. I, llego tarde a mi trabajo. I hardly ever get late. To my job and never an example with never never who can give me an example with never never never, never, never. play the tennis okay at your work Okay, I never play tennis at work. I think I don't either. Yeah, creo que ninguno de nosotros. Yes, I no. never boring in my job. I never get bored. I never get okay. bored. I never get bored. Okay. Good. I understand, Maktiel. No eres tú. Son las palabras. Okay, I never get bored in my job. Good. Very nice. Many of the things. Do you ever open the office? Do you ever open the office, people? No, never. Yes, I always. Oh, poor Jose Luis, right? You are the key man. Usted es el de las llaves. Si no llega Jose Luis, nadie entra. That's a problem, right? I always say like, ¿Y por qué no han abierto mal? Me cae esta gente que está aquí esperando. Ah, es chis y yo soy la de las llaves. It's like, Lee, usted carga la llave. Oh, sorry. My bad, I said. It's like, ustedes que no entran, que no entran en la, y ahí tienen a toda la gente afuera. Usted la de la llave, Lick. I'm very sorry, I said. So, eh, good, good examples, my dear students. This was a very short exercise from the book, right? But it's always necessary to go over them. And as you can see here on your manual, you are going to find other spaces on which you uh, consider and talk about different activities, right? Different activities that you do at your workplace. For example, here you have a, um, a timetable, a schedule table. I don't know if you follow this in your, in your job. No sé si ustedes ocupan eh, de estas tablas de organización, a quien le toca hacer qué, en qué tiempo. Or do you have a specific type of activity that you do? No rotan su puesto con nadie. No, no, no. Teacher, I have a specific, um, uh, a specific um, sorry. agenda. Yes, for every day. You have day. a specific agenda for every day. So yeah. you don't switch your role with anybody. No, not. That's very good. So if you have your uh, specific activities at your job, so this is going to be just an example for you. In this one, for example, you say like the cashiers, you have in this case four, 
and they rotate on the different times. This happens, for example, in a supermarket or in a bank or in one of these places that uh, you are like kind of rotating people to do the same job. To cook, who is in charge of cooking in the restaurant, right? You have three people in charge of cooking. Well, four, Kevin, Karen, Mateo, and Linda, right? There is only one manager. So in your case, you are here. Ustedes están en este rubro, that you don't change with anybody. So for the order takers, you have four different people, right? And for the waiters, you also have four different people. But these are uh, organizational tables, right? You don't use them at your work, so it's going to be something just uh, for the example. I cannot go in deep because you don't use them. And here, as you can see here, uh, we're going to use this information, this information here, for uh, this couple of answers that we have here. If you see here in the morning shift, we have the morning shift that it's 10, 11, and 12. Okay, I am going to make it here. And this is the afternoon shift from 1 to 10 p.m. Okay, this is the morning shift and the afternoon shift. And here I have a question. It says, Ay, come on. Se me movieron las tablitas. Sorry. I used the incorrect pen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Todos hoy andan rebeldes haciendo lo que quieren. Hasta el lapicero. Okay, morning shift and afternoon shift. Okay. And in this one, we have who is in charge of waiting uh, of the waiting tables in the morning shift? Who is in charge of the waiting tables in the morning shift? Or who is in charge of taking orders in the morning shift? Let me make it bigger for you. George and Carlos. George and Carlos, right? George and Carlos are in charge of the waiting tables or taking orders. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer Rodriguez, right? Jennifer Rodriguez is in charge of managing the restaurant. Si algo pasa, ¿quién tiene la culpa? La Jennifer. Jennifer, poor Jennifer. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Who is in charge of the kitchen? Who cooks in the morning shift? Kevin and Karen. Kevin, Kevin and, Karen. and Karen. Very good. Kevin and Karen. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Jorge and, and Carlos. Jorge and Carlos. Very good. And the last question. What does Matthew do? Nothing. Nothing, right? What does Matthew do? <laughs> He's a waiter. He's a waiter. Very good. Here you have Matthew Tule. He's a waiter, right? He's a waiter. Good. Very good. You see? Good use of the timetable. In, in this one, well, as we don't change, uh, we don't have roles for this one. And you were talking about your activities before. I need to skip this one. So. This is something that we're going to do tomorrow. So I am going to go back to my presentation here because I have a short reading for you to finish your day in practice, okay? I have three different people here, Brittany, Joshua, and Maya. And here we have three different lifestyles. I need you to read the three of them and I am going to ask you some questions about it, okay? I am going to give you some minutes for you to read about them, okay? I am not going to interrupt. Read, read for your own, right? Read for your own.
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. From the mic. Ok, Ay, la vida, el amor. Por eso no se enamoren, miren lo que le pasó. <laughs> I am going to call the attendance and then we're going to go over the reading, ok. So, eh, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, ok. Aleida Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Andrea Sofía. Present, teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Carlos Eduardo. Present. César Romero. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Eric José. Present teacher. A Eric José le tocaba hoy su one on one, pero creo que está más enfermo que yo ahorita. Eric. Eh, creo que eh, le podría dar, le podría dar la, la sesión a otra persona. <ríe> no, it's your turn today. <ríe> Es que es su turno el día de hoy. Pero it's okay. Ok. Ok, we can, we can stay. It's just like for around five to six minutes. Don't worry. You will survive. Don't worry. Let's see. Eh, Hernán Antonio. Presente. Horacio José. Here, teacher. José Luis. Here. Juan Francisco. Carla Flores. Here, teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Paulita. Paulita, where are you? Se me perdió Paola. ¿Qué pasó? Sí. Hizo muti por la izquierda. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Wilber Alberto. Eh, Jasmine and Magdiel. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, after this, we can go over the reading. Okay. What are the names of the three people in the reading? Do you remember them? So, so. So, so. <laughs> what are the names? What Bring comes Maya. Here? Brittany, Maya. You remember Maya, Brittany, Maya, Joshua, and Joshua, and the first one I don't remember. Okay, Brittany, Brittany Joshua, and Maya. Okay, do you remember what are their professions? College student. Uh -huh. Brittany. Uh -huh. Joshua is a website develop website designer. designer. Yeah. A designer and, and Maya. Maya I don't remember. It's a rock musician. It's a musician. Uh-huh. It's a rock musician. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Ha. Huh. Okay. I won't I won't remove it anymore. So it says Brittany Davis is a college student. Joshua Burns is a website designer and Maya Black is a rock musician. Okay, this is going to be a kind of messy activity, but I need all of you to open your microphones. Todos ustedes, abran sus micrófonos, open your microphones. Okay, o open your microphones. And we are going to do some reading out loud. Vamos a hacer un poquito de lectura en voz alta. So... It's going to be a little messy, a little bit, but try to do it on your own rhythm. Lo pueden ir haciendo a su mismo ritmo, solo que se van a oír un poquito de, de bulla de los demás. But I need all the microphones on, and we're going to start reading. Brittany, then Joshua, and then Maya. Before we do it, do you have any question in pronunciation? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, how... How oh, is the correct pronounce of schedule? I don't know. Yeah, schedule. 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 
schedule. Don't say schedule, please, in the love of God. Don't say schedule. Cada vez que hacen no, eso, sí, ya, cada vez que hacen eso, se muere un diccionario. Ya. Yeah. Schedule. Un ya, yeah, un Larus, un mini sopena. Ya. Yeah. Un mini sopena muere. Every time you say schedule. Oh, no, I have heard about that. I am giving you real examples, people. Real examples. So, please, schedule, schedule, college, designer, musician. Musician. Let's see what else. What else? Musician. Musician. Uh, evening. Evening. Okay. Hay gente que dice evening. Evening. Midnight. Midnight. Breakfast. Breakfast. Hay gente que dice breakfast. Break. No, you see. No, no, no. Breakfast. And a schedule. Okay? Schedule. Let's start with Brittany, then with Joshua, and then with Maya. Okay, Brittany, and you say, what's your schedule like? Lo único que no vamos a leer son los nombres de las personas. O sea, lo van a ir haciendo como toda la lectura. What's your schedule like? My classes start at eight, so I get up at seven. Do you get the idea? Yes. Okay, let's start with Brittany. One, two, three, go. What you Midnight. 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 Until until midnight. Until midnight. Okay. The next one. Joshua Burns, website designer. Go ahead. One, two, three. What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? like? I get up at 4 a.m. Yeah. 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 Yeah
work at a.m. Okay. 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 He starts at work at a.m. Okay. What time is his lunch? His lunch. One takes a lunch at uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. A lunch break. He at takes a lunch break at 1 p.m. And what time does he finish working? Sometimes he works all, work night. all night. All night to finish a project, right? And what about Brittany? What time does she start her classes? What time does she start her classes? She starts uh, her classes uh, at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And what time do what time does she finish classes? She gets in the classes at noon. She finished the classes at noon. at noon. Noon, very good. What does she do later? What does she do after class? Uh, she have a job in the library. She has a she job has, at the library. She has. She a goes job. to the library. So, she goes to the library. What time does she study? In the evening. In the evening. From what time to what time? From eight. From until eight midnight. until midnight. From eight until midnight. Okay. And for sure, now that you remember all the reading. I am going to go a little bit here. About Brittany. Okay, we say she gets up. That is the first thing that she does. What will be the second activity? Brittany, she gets up then? At 8 a.m. No, 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 but uh, from all these activities. From all the activities. Okay, tenemos las actividades que ella hace. ¿En qué orden las pondríamos? Tenemos, she gets up, sería la primera. Then, first. She, 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 take the bus. she takes she the bus. bus. This is number two. Then, she works. Goes to class. Ah, she, she goes to class. This is number three. Yes. Number four. She works. She works. She works. She works. Mm -hmm. And then, she studies. She studies. She studies. She studies. Very good. She studies. What about Joshua? What is the uh, first activity? He gets, he gets up. up. He gets up. up. He goes he for a run. A run. For he a goes run. for a run. He has, has breakfast. breakfast. He has breakfast. He has breakfast. He, has breakfast. he, has breakfast. he starts work. He starts work. He starts work. And he eats lunch. lunch. And he eats lunch. Sorry for my numbers. I was not born with the mouse abilities. <laughs> what about Maya? What is the first activity that Maja does? She goes to work. She goes to work. Good. Yes. Then? She finishes work. She goes home. She goes home. Okay, before she goes home, okay, it says she goes to work, she finishes work, she goes home, she has dinner, she has dinner, and and finally she goes to bed. She goes to bed. Yeah, there you go. My God, what a, what horrible numbers I did. Oh my God. <laughs> Very very difficult. I know, I know with the mouse, it's very horrible to work on this type of things. Well, good. You did a very good job on the readings, people. Nice, right? That I didn't have to worry that much on, on explaining and getting over every single thing. Well, my dear class, tomorrow we are going to finish working a little bit on the work activities. What we are going to do tomorrow is to talk about specific things, everyday tasks, schedules at your job. And we are going to do a time 
uh, agenda. I am going to show it to you right now for you to start like thinking, thinking about it. We are going to work on this. Okay, we are going to work. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There you go. We are going to work on something like this. You are going to work on your schedule for the day. So please, I need you to start considering about all the things and activities that you do on the different moments of your day, okay? We are going to do all the agenda of a day in your life. So please, I need you to think about the activities that you do on your everyday. We are going to use a day on the week that you work because if I do this for Sunday, it will be uh, la once, sleep, 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 sleep. No, right. Lo vamos a hacer de un día de trabajo para que usted ponga ahí todas sus actividades. Si lo hacemos de sábado o domingo, solo me van a poner sleep, 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 sleep. No, teacher, we have to wash the closets and clean the house. Wash the chiquito. <laughs> yeah, and, and shower the dog, right? You are going to do all this. So this is what we are going to be doing tomorrow. We are going to do your timetable, your agenda of the day. So please think about it and be ready with that for tomorrow. Okay, so my dear class, have a beautiful night. For all the ones that are sick, please drink a lot of water, take your medicine and rest, okay? A lot of medicine, a lot of good night, Okay, everybody. have a good, good night. night. Everybody have a good night, please. Thank rest. you. Yeah. Have a good night. And take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tomorrow be I I will be a listener. Okay, why? Uh because we have an inventory. Oh my god. In the in the, the factor. Company. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, póngalos yeah. a todos ahí que reciban la clase. Bye <laughs> se me van a juntar todos, por favor. Vamos a estar en clase. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, bye. Rafael. <laughs> I am going to stay with Eric for a couple of minutes. Bye bye. Hello, Cesar. Hola. Hola. Eh, hola, Cesar, no le escucho. No le oigo, César. Hola. Um, Hola, César, dígame. Eh, esa tarea de enviarla mañana. No, 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 la vamos Para a trabajar mañana. en clase. No, 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 la vamos a trabajar en la clase. Don't ah. worry. Yes, don't worry. Ah, We're going okay. to do that in class. Don't worry. Have a good night. Okay. Bye bye, night. César. Thank you. Mr. Eric, how are you? I know you are very sick. Uh, how are you, teacher? Oh, my God. <laughs> exactly like you. Que si hacemos competencia aquí de quién tiene más tos y catarro, nos vamos a los que todos. Ok, Eric. Fíjense que casi no tengo muchas preguntas, más que por eso quería... este. Dejar la, la sesión una a una a alguien más. Pero... No, es que. Eh, un... ajá. Ajá. No, no, pero, eh, ok. In the one on one session, eh, if the students do not have questions, what I like to do is to ask them about the things that they need in matters of learning. Ok, a mí me gusta siempre como detenerme en este momento. Todos tienen que tener su sesión una a uno, vea, y ahí lo llevo mm. yo en el, en el orden de la lista. Pero en el caso de, de esto, yo comienzo siempre preguntándoles. Eh, ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? ¿Qué le han parecido? Eh, oh. Ajá, yo hago, yo hago las preguntas, don't worry. Oh, well. <laughs> ajá. ¿Cómo se ha sentido en clases? ¿Cómo siente su desempeño en las clases? ¿Cómo se ha eh, sentido en estos días? Pues, eh, aquí, bien, ¿verdad? Este, en varias ocasiones, este, como que en, en dos clases quería estar en oyente, ¿verdad? Porque quería estar avanzando en, en las tareas. Uh -huh. Todavía en la noche trabajamos, ¿verdad? Porque el trabajo es de casa, ¿verdad? Ah, eh, ok, ok. Creo que el trabajo va a ser larga, ¿verdad? Cuando viene de viajar, ¿verdad? 
Ay, sí, así, <risa> así pasa. Así que todo bien, este, no, no hay solo los, los inconvenientes de, de, de que a veces este podría estar trabajando en medio de la clase. Sí, lo comprendo, ¿verdad? porque tiene que estar cubriendo su, su, su parte de, de, uh -huh. de trabajo. Pero siempre es importante que esté como pendiente de lo que estamos estudiando, de lo que uh -huh. se está viendo y todo. Eh, trate de mantener siempre su cámara encendida, al menos o sea, su, para que estemos seguros de que ahí estamos. Uh -huh. eh, para que también usted cubra con esos requisitos, vea, de... de porque sí, sí, sí me he fijado de que siempre que hacemos como grupos y cosas así, que nos vamos a los break rooms, usted siempre eh, se, se está trabajando, colabora con los compañeros y todo. Eh. So that's a good part on, on this. So Eric, eh, so you say that you have been feeling good during the class. What about the platform? Have you had the opportunity to work on the platform? Yes. Eh, and now estoy en la en la tax de unit Tú. Ok, siempre lo, lo he llenado, siempre ahí he avanzado, aunque no, that's good. Aunque no, pude, no pude asistir a clase. No, that's good. Ya que no, no pude estar de oyente. Ahí no. Yo... no, pero, pero sí, a... las, las tareas sí, lo, lo, de la plataforma sí los he estado haciendo, ahí okay. no, no se me olvida. Ok, Así good. Así que todo bien, a ver si puedo seguir. Ok, a so ver. you are in unit 2 now. Yes. Okay, perfect. Eric, is there something specific that you need help with listening, speaking, reading, or writing? No, no. Okay, do you think that you no. manage the skills very well? ¿Sientes que manejas bien los skills del idioma o necesitas ayuda en algo en específico? Grammar, vocabulary, listening. Mm, no siento. Quiero ver, no fíjense, a veces, a veces no, no siento que, que necesite ayuda, este, pero sí, en varias ocasiones, casi no he pronunciado tan bien, ¿verdad? Ajá, ok. Pero so... no he sentido que, que solicite. No, but in, in general, I mean, not, not only in the class, I mean, in general, do you consider that you need help in something specific of the language? En general, no solamente de la clase, ¿hay alguna parte del idioma que te cueste mucho más que las, que las otras? Mm. I don't know, grammar, vocabulary, listening. Speaking. Speaking, más que todo. Okay. Speaking. Good. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, I always ask the question. So, if I can find a way to fix or to help the student with this specific task, I do it. Okay. Sometimes they say, teacher, I need help with reading. And I send them mm -hmm. links for articles and readings. Or, teacher, I need help with listening. I send them audios and stuff for them to mm -hmm. practice. So, If you need help with speaking, for sure, some of the activities that I'm going to do on the WhatsApp group are going to be very beneficial for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Vamos a hacer una serie de actividades en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp donde van a compartir audios. So it's ah, going okay. to be very beneficial for you because you are going to have the chance to practice. Mm -hmm. And I always say, if you need help with speaking, you can always use a voice notes. Puedes ocupar las notas de voz, grabarte acerca de lo que hiciste mm. en el día, acerca de cómo fue tu día o acerca de algo específico que pasó. Ajá, sí. Eso es una muy buena práctica que puedas tener. Las notas de voz son muy, muy buenas, muy eh, acorde para que tú practiques tu speaking eh, todos los días. Y te sirve porque te escuchas eh, mm. y dices también, pues así como, hey, no, no me entiendo qué es lo que estoy diciendo. Right? <risa> so you can right. record it again and it, it, it can be very helpful. So that is a very good tip. And for the part of speaking, that can help you a lot. So I will try to find more activities, Eric, to help you a little bit more on your speaking part. And for sure, along with the speaking comes the listening. Siempre van como de la mano el listening y el speaking juntos. So sí. if you can have some listening activities, you can also have some speaking forms. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else, Eric, that you think that you need help with? 
Okay, so I really appreciate these little minutes that you gave me, Eric. You see, the one-on-one -on -one was very quick mm -hmm. and it always mm -hmm. helps me to, uh, to help students, right? Mm -hmm. And with the things that you need to do. Thank you for the good job that okay. you're doing. Thank you for advancing on the platform. And you know that whatever thing that you might need, just let me know and I will mm -hmm. help you with any material that yes. you need. Okay, perfect then. Have a very good night, Eric, and okay. I am going to see you tomorrow then. Thank yes. you. Have yes. a good night. Okay, good night. Bye bye. You. You're welcome. Bye. Well, that's it for the night. Thank you very much.